Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself key repair video today. I'm working on a Lenovo Yoga computer here, and I'm going to show you in this video how to swap out one of the large keys, your space, your shift, your enter key. Um, if you're looking for the smaller, normal size letter keys, check below in the description. There'll be a link there for the video where I showed you how to do those. Um, the reason why I'm showing you how to take the key off first and then put it back on is because very often you can't find these for sale individually online. Uh, so you have to buy an entire keyboard and then take a key off for yours. Um, and to answer the question why we're not swapping out the entire keyboard, it's because on French inset keyboards, uh, to replace the keyboard basically means breaking your palm rest. Uh, the new keyboard will never be in there very securely. Um, that's why I prefer to replace keys if at all possible um, instead of replacing the entire keyboard. So. Um, if you have any questions throughout this process, if you see something that you're unfamiliar with, uh, check out the frequently asked questions below in, in the description. If you don't see a question there, leave me a comment and I will get back to you a few times a day at least. Um, the only thing you really need for this operation is a small flathead screwdriver. Uh, smaller the better, don't try to use a normal household one. Uh, but I'll get started now and show you how to, how to take off a, uh, a shift key on a Lenovo Yoga. So to start with, I'm going to take my small flathead screwdriver and I'm going to slide it underneath my keycap, which is this top part, but I'm going to get it on top of the retainer clip underneath. And the idea there is to hold down the retainer clips while I peel off this cap so that they don't bend and break. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll show you what it looks like under there once I get this cap off. Okay, so as you can see, that came off fairly easily, and as you can see, my flathead screwdriver is holding down those white plastic clips. So I'm going to put that keycap off to the side. This is what you're looking at underneath uh, most of these larger keys. You're looking at your normal rubber spring in, in the center. It's held on by glue. Really try not to rip that off. They're very hard to get down. You're looking at a couple white or black... Get this out of the way. My screw... Oh, I'm drivers magnetized so it's being a pain in the butt. Uh, you're looking at a couple white or black plastic retainer clips and then you're looking at one or, or two metal stabilizer bars. This one runs along the top, this one here ran along the bottom. So in order to get this out, the stabilizer bars come out easy enough. They, they're pretty fl uh, free flowing in there, they slide back and forth. They're put into holes on either side. Just take one, slide it out of the hole, slide the other end out of the hole, and that comes out fairly easily. Uh, same thing with the bottom. Now, in order to get these retainer clips up, they're a little more tricky. Now, most of them are held in the same way. They're either held in by four metal pins near all four corners, or they're held in one side uh, by a metal bracket in, in the center. So you'll either have four near the corners or, or three, two near the corners, one in the middle. Now the idea is to find the pins that are closest to the edge. So in my case, it's these on top. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press on the bottom with my thumbnail, try to get as much give as I can, while I slowly, gently try to pry this out from under the metal pin. Now this is very hard to do, this is the worst part. If you do break this pin, it'll probably be here. Um, and I'll show you why once I get this out. So I'm just gonna push on that. Try to pry that up. That sides up. I think I did it without breaking it. Okay, so it looks like my two uh, retainer clips came out separately, which is okay. It's not necessarily broken. They're a two part clip, so let me zoom in on that for you. So if this happens to you, I'm, I'm, I'm actually glad it happens so you can see. Uh, the retainer clip is made of two parts and they're held together by these two little plastic pins on either side. Those two plastic pins fit into holes here. So if it does come apart, as long as those two pins are not broken, you can get them back together. So I'm just going to put those back together now. Kind of a pain because it's such a small component. So I'll slide that back in there. Okay, so be careful with that, but you can get them back together. Now, I'm going to spin this around. Hopefully you can see that. 
those two little holes, one on this corner, one on that corner, that's what was being held underneath those metal pins. Very thin, very flimsy, very breakable. If I were to try to just put my screwdriver and pop those up, I'd most likely break those. So that's why you have to, it, it's more of a prying out from under action than it is a popping it up action. So that's how, how you would get it out. So in order to put this back in now safely, we're gonna go in, in reverse. We just took the top off first. So now we're gonna put the bottom in first. We're gonna lay it down. Generally where it should go. That may take you a little longer than it took me because I do this a lot. What you're going for here is to get the bottom plastic component underneath its two metal pins first. And once it's centered and, and secure on the bottom, you should just be able to push on top and snap those into place. Just like that. So now that that's in place, we're, we're gonna make sure that our stabilizer bars, we're gonna take that top one, slide it into the hole on the left, into the hole on the right, lay that down, try to, and, it, and again, it's, it's pretty loose, it doesn't snap into place. So get that as centered as possible. Do the same if, if you have a second one. Some of the smaller ones may not, like if you're doing the, the enter key, that may not have, have two bars. Okay, so it looks like my top is centered, looks like my bottom is centered. And this may take a few tries again, because those are just free flown and they, you gotta snap them in. But then you put your cap on and then press it in place, snap it in. Okay, so mine went on first try, so that's good. Uh, but again, you may take a few tries because especially with those metal bars, uh, they, they, they have a lot of uh, room to play in there, so they may not be perfectly lined up. So if you get it snapped in and it feels cockeyed, half snapped in, half didn't, just take your flat head again, go in there, safely take it off again, try lining everything up and then snapping it down, and, and you will eventually be able to get it, uh, assuming neither retainer clip has been damaged. So that's how you would repair a larger key on a Lenovo Yoga Series computer. Uh, again, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below. Uh, if you don't see yours there, leave me a comment. I'll try to help you out. And uh, please like and share if this helped you. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair, uh, feel free to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys.